Hello YouTube, if you enjoy the content that I make, would you please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a like, they both help out a ton. And you'll probably get updated on my most latest videos that I drop. And I'm here to bring you guys six Ferguses that I've changed my mind on. Two of them I used to like, but I don't like as much. And four of them I used to hate. And I may like a little bit or love them now. And so yeah. Let's start off with the first one. I have Rave Now, which I think is a sub-brand. Rave is a sub-brand of Latafa. This just straight up smells like a can of pineapples. And I really can't see myself wearing this anywhere. I've worn it a couple of times, but sometimes gives me a headache. Sometimes it's just overwhelming. And I just can't find a time to just smell like a can of pineapples. I've worn this by itself three times, but I've layered this with Club Day and Wheat a couple of times by from my moth. And it gives it more of that like a Ventus type of smell. And I've only used this to layer, if I'm being honest. The next fragrance on this list would be Latafa's Assad. This is a projection monster. I sprayed three sprays one day and it gave me a headache and it's all I could smell. But now it's toned down. This is a fragrance that I uh, used to hate when I first got this. It smelled like straight pepper, just straight pepper, just straight spiciness, this headache inducing spiciness. And I got this all the way back in like early January. And I sprayed this like a month or two ago. And I got like this vanilla sweetness with like this cinnamon pepper spice and it just smells way better. And this is a pretty good clone of Dior Sauvage just not as monstrous, because I know Savage last, Savage Elixir lasts a long time. But it's an X straight perfume, so like, what do you expect? This one, even though it's an EDP, I get about eight to 10 hours. I'm wearing it right now, it smells amazing. Um, what else? Projects pretty well, do not overspray. You will give yourself a headache probably. And yeah, I went from hating this like I wanted to like throw this away. I've only thrown away one fragrance and that was the Red Curve. It smelled horrible. I, I, I just couldn't stand the way it smelled. I tried to wear it to work and I still hated it. So I just threw it in the trash can. I broke the bottle and all that. I just told myself, I do not want to smell like this ever again. And I almost did this to a sod. But to some of the people that I've seen online saying, let it sit, let it sit longer, spray it a couple times, let it sit, it works. Is this surprisingly one of my girlfriend's favorites? Remember I wore this for the first time and she told me I smelled like really good. And this is back when I hated it. And so I was kind of like reluctant. I was like, eh, I'll keep it. Maybe it will get better, you know what I'm saying? And number three, we have Michael Kors Extreme Blue. I got this as a gift for Christmas in like 2020. Actually, I, I like this a lot now. When I first got it, to my opinion, this smelled like an old man. It's, it smelled like that generic old man scent. Like, I could have sworn I smelled this on my pastor when I used to go to church a bunch of times. Like, it just smells old. But now, I guess I appreciate it more, and especially now that it's running out. I never noticed I put as big of a dent in it or something I didn't like. And I've come to like realize, oh, I like the way this smells. And my girl likes the way it smells too. So it lasts about four to five hours. Every time I've worn this in public, that I remember, because I've worn this to work, it has gotten me a compliment. Someone has stopped me and been like, oh, what are you wearing? And I'm like, I don't know, I just throw in a fragrance, but this has gotten me compliments, surprisingly. And I used to think like, it smells horrible. How could they like the way this smells, you know what I'm saying? Number four, we have Afnan's Tarafi Blue. I used to hate the way this smelled when I first got it. It smelled like cheap soap. And the exact soap it smells like is a, it's a Dollar Tree and Dollar General brand soap called, I think, White Rain. And it's the blue one, I think it's called Ocean. When I first got this, it smelled identical to that. My mom even said it smells like a body wash called Zest, which I heard smells similar to uh, White Rain's Ocean. It just smells like cheap synthetic body wash. But then after uh, a month or two, I sprayed it again. 
It smells more um, woody and this, the opening is very citrusy. Still not one of my favorites, but I went from wanting to sell this and never wear it again to liking it. And my girlfriend likes the way it smells too, so. Usually when I wear a fragrance, I do wear it for me, but if she likes it, I'll, you know, wear something I don't like that much. And this is one of them. Trotty Blue is a monster. It, I remember I sprayed this six o'clock at night and I woke up the next day and I was brushing my teeth at like 12. I woke up late and all I smelled was Tarathi Blue while I was brushing my teeth. It is wild how long this fragrance lasts. Like when they said it was a monster, they were not lying. This thing lasts forever and it projects pretty well. Like if you're wearing this, you're, you, people are probably going to notice like the smell, if that makes any sense. Now a fragrance I used to not mind that I just barely see myself wearing anymore. Club Day in the Week, Intense Man. I surprisingly put a pretty decent dent in this. You probably can't tell. But I used to wear this to school. Let's just throw it on. This is back when I didn't care about like fragrances like that. And I got this for Christmas. I used to just throw it on. Never got any complaints. Never got any compliments. Never really hated it. But now that I have other fragrances, I see a lot of the negative reviews with this. Because I had nothing to wear besides Cool Water, this, Nautical Voyage, which didn't last. And so I'm like, oh, this smells decent, you know, not too bad. But compared to everything else I have, sorry about the yelling, but compared to everything else I have, I really hate the way like this smells. And yeah. It lasts a decent while though. Longevity is like six, seven hours, projects pretty decently. Like I was in the scent bubble when I used to wear that. Like it's not no bad performer. And the last fragrance, which I used to hate, I thought this would have been, this would have been, uh, even though all of these are basically blind buys, this would have been one of the blind buys that I would have regret the most. But now I don't, but it has like this green tint, which threw me off. Cause it's supposed to look brown. It's supposed to be a clone of a uh, MFK's Grand Soir. It's called Bearcat Amber Eve. And when I first sprayed this on a tester strip, it just smelled like cream soda. And I, I didn't want to smell like cream soda if I'm being honest. But I got curious and I sprayed it on skin one day and it smelled like this ambery sweet cream soda which is better than just cream soda. And I kind of liked the way it smelled. I kept, uh, I, I noticed I kept sniffing my arms every once in a while and I even sprayed more cause I wanted to smell it more. And yeah, you can never trust a fragrance just being on the uh, tester strip. I think it's safer to just test on skin. Even though if you were to go to like a Dillard's, a uh, Sephora, you're probably gonna run out of spots in your skin to test until the fragrance to start mixing and you're not getting an authentic smell. But yeah, that cost me uh, $25. It lasts a pretty long time, about six, seven, eight hours. Projects pretty well. And what else was I gonna say? This is pretty easy to find. I don't see, I haven't seen many videos on this, so not that many people know about Bearcat Amber Eve and so yeah, it's not gonna be sold out anytime soon. Out of everything on this list, I think I would uh, recommend these two the most. And even though I see a lot about this online, I wouldn't recommend this. I heard the limited edition Parfum is better and the EDP is better. So I would probably go with those, even though this is only like 40 bucks. I would probably go with that one. And yeah. If there's any fragrances that you guys used to hate but now love or used to love but now hate, please put them down in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.